so we are rolling out the um, walls here with the uh, gray primer, and um, I have a piece of tape here that I'm going to place right on top of the chair rail here, so that when you start to roll, the uh, the uh, little paint doesn't um, doesn't fall 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 down on it. Now I'm not pressing in to it. I I I, I just just touch it just just ever so slightly, um, so that so that this acts like a shield here and then when I'm done with the section I can just easily pull pull the thing off so that's why I'm, uh, I'm just just pushing it in um, just like that just so it comes off easy um, and now down here I have my uh, paint set up I have a, a plastic bag in here and this is the, um, the uh, paint roller this is a, a 3 8 snap roller which is what you want to use for, uh, for uh, this right here um, and it's very and it's very important to be be a four you start to roll to like really let the uh, the roller soak into the paint um, so that so that um, so that when you go to a roll the uh, roller cover is a uh, full um, and and when you roll you don't want to uh, to uh, press too too hard you don't want to squeeze the uh, the uh, paint out so that's why you always want to start with a uh, with a fully loaded roller. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a uh, W here, um, and, and I'm, I'm going to make it until the end of uh, this tape here, and then we're just going to go back and fill in the uh, the uh, W here. And you just want to just. You just want to apply just a teeny bit of, of uh, pressure to uh, to uh, the roller, um, and and again you don't want to force the roller in because a that'll squeeze out the paint and you'll get lines and it'll also ruin the uh, roller tilt uh, and it just won't leave a, uh, a good finish to it. So we have it all filled in and then I'm just going to go back one more time and. And when and when you do this, you can actually see like right the uh, the uh, for your eyes how how it covers it in, um, and then so this is the end here. And now what I'm going to do is uh, just take my ladder here and go up to the top. Now you want to turn the uh, the roller so it's perpendicular, and you want to roll as close to the edge of the crown molding as uh, possible. And what that's going to do is it's going to hide or it's going to just leave a little texture over where I brushed in because you don't want to see that. So that's why you always want to come as close to the edge or the, uh, or the door casing as, as, as possible. Especially since we're, uh, we're using the, um, the uh, color red because red does show up a lot more because um, it is a darker color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reload this down here in the uh, tray and I'm just going lightly I'm not pre pressing down trying to force it in there so once, so once it's like that what I usually do um, is just turn it to the left and uh, to the right so that if there's anything it'll, it'll fall off so once again one two and then transfer it to the wall here and to, uh, to uh, make a, a W here Now it's hard to see, but there's a lot of paint right, right, right here. So I'm just going to go back into the paint here to absorb it back into the roller here and work my way to the right here. And as you can see, it's it's starting to cover it better and it's filling in a lot of the places where it's still red. <clears throat> I'm going to come back into it again. Now I'm going to come as close as I can here to the edge without, without hitting it. Now, my roller here is, a, is a pretty much dry, dried out here. A lot of the paint is like on the wall. So now it's like safe to go into the corner because it, if, it was, if it had a lot of 
paint on it and then you go into a corner here you wouldn't be able to do it so now that it has none we're just gonna bring this into the corner here come down So that's like that, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have it perpendicular here, and I'm gonna just roll as close as I can to the top of the chair rail here. So once I have it like that, then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go up with it. And so that you get a perfectly uniform coverage of the uh, primer uh, and this will help too if you have any lines from from the ends of the, of the roller uh, this will get get rid of those um, so now i'm going to put this down and i'm going to reload it again i'm just going to let that sit here and then i'm going to come over here now, because I didn't press the, uh, the uh, tape in hard, this should just come, just come right up. So it just comes up like that, and then I'm just going to bring this over here and just place it here, very gently. And I'll, sometimes I'll just press it once in the middle there. And then I'm just going to do exactly what I did there to this section here and all the way around the room here until it's all rolled out. And we're going to give this a, a day to dry. And then we'll be back in the morning to uh, sand it and apply the uh, first coat of the uh, Caliente Red. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you soon.